what do you feel like went wrong with that? Um, that's a good question. A lot of things, but at the same time, you know, I think we had good spurts, um, good drives. Again, yeah, we start to finish. Um, again, like there wasn't anything that we didn't see on, on film. I thought we were pretty well prepared. I thought we had good moments, but again, we just had to be more consistent and, and execute. As far as finishing, you guys got in the red zone a bunch again today, and you know it worked out the way that it did. I, I know we've been asking you this for a while, but what do you think is the reason for the persistency of the issues in the red zone? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're in the red zone, you can't get behind the sticks. I think that's the first thing. Um, when you get an obvious passing down, it's easy for the defense to kind of be, you know, play predictable. There's less grass out there, and you have to for, you force it in the pass. Uh, it's hard to make it happen, um, but it's not it's not an excuse. You know, we can't get ourselves in that situation in the first place. Um, and from there, you know, we just had to execute too. You know, a few times where either I missed a throw, we missed a catch, we didn't we miss our assignment up front. So, I mean, maybe we probably blocked up pretty decent actually, but. Um, you know, it's just a matter of you know me missing a throw or, or someone someone else uh, making a mistake as well. There seemed to be a little bit of a recurring drop issue throughout today. Does that feel like a matter of just chemistry and timing too? Um, I didn't think there were a whole lot. I thought some of them probably should have kind of calls on personally, but um, a few of them are tough catches too. But you know, again, those are just tough plays and you have to make them. Uh, again, we'll look at the tape and see how make what they were, but is what it is, I guess. How do you keep frustration out of the huddle when you're, you're going through something like that? Uh, it's hard, but I think the main thing I just told the guys, you know, just don't worry about the scoreboard and just keep playing. Um, you know, obviously it was, wasn't close, but at the end, you know, um, happy we've got a couple drives going. But, again, you kind of just have to forget the score and kind of move on from there. You play for a program with very high expectations. Do you hear kind of the fans booing me during the game, booing your coach during the game? When you're on the field, how much does that come in you? Uh, I mean, you hear it. You have to deal with it and play. Uh, again, it's college football. It's a, you know, it's a serious business. So it's something that kind of comes with expectations of USC, and uh, you know, so no surprise all these guys. A little bit of a different note. Kyle Ford was out there for a while later in the game, and you went to him a couple of times. Can you talk about what that connection is like and what it's like to have him on the field? Yeah, uh, it's exciting to get him out there. You know, Kyle's been dealing with injuries for a while since he got here. And, uh, I know he's excited to get out there and get an opportunity to kind of put his tape out there for a coach to see and for the world to see. So uh, proud of the way he played. Um, excited to get him out there. That's good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.